Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video on how to use Google Sheet as a database and in this video we are going to see how to update the existing record using the put or a patch request and before that we will also see how to a bulk create new record on the existing sheet. So let me go to um, the postman. So I have uh, created the API URL and if you're watching this video for the very first time, let me create a new API. So just copy the Google Sheet URL and go back to this um, uh, Sheet API creation uh, tool. I have given a link in the YouTube description. You can just do a free sign up using Google Sheet and click on create new. Paste your Google Sheet URL and click on create API. So our API is created and click on the copy link address. Now go back to the postman. I'm going to replace that API URL with the newly created API. And here I was uh, added a param sheet is equal to lodge imp db so that I can make a new post request to this particular sheet. And if you look at the uh, data, it contains up to 453. So let me create a 454 here with some uh, data corresponding to uh, the column name. So in the last video, we have seen how to make a single record, but uh, here we can also do a bulk creation of new rows. So to for bulk creation, you have to change the data from a JSON to array. So I change um, from JSON to array. Let's try to create three record, three new record. I'm just copy pasting uh, all the records. So, so 453, 454, and I'll make this as 455 and 456. And now I'm going to click on the send. So it says, it created a three record and the status is 201 it's got created and you can also see that record details here so this is how you can do a bulk creation of new record using the post request and now let's see how to update um, the records in the google sheet so i want to update let's assume that i want to uh, up update the id 452 and I want to change uh, the name from GOR to something else. So uh, to make a change, I should uh, use a new route with a column name. And here the column name is ID. If you look at here, the column name is ID. And additional slash. And here you have to specify the ID value that is 452. 452 and this will take care of locating this large M RDB and we don't need to pass an array here because we are going to update one single uh, record so the JSON should be fine and 452 right so let me uh, we don't need to specify the ID if you don't want to update the ID and before making a request, you should change from post to put because we are just doing an update and click on send. Now you will see we got updated as a one. If you go back to the 452, it's get updated with the value that we have passed here. So this is how you can do a simple update. And now let's see how to delete. So the deletion is quite simple we no need to pass any data here we just need to uh, specify the id or record that we want to delete let's assume that i want to delete the 456 here so i need to change uh, the id value from 452 to 456 and i have to change uh, the request from put to delete because i want to delete the particular record and now click on the send we got the response was deleted one with the 200 OK. And if we go back to this sheet, we don't have the record 456. It's completely deleted. So that's it about uh, this video. And thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.